I am Constantine Dono. This video is about collateral intentions. Collateral intentions is about You know, one of the worst things you can ask any artist is, what is your art about? Because to me, I think it totally misses the point. I believe that art is about using one human experience to convey and connect with another human experience. You know, of course I had an intention, but it's not, it's not about it's not about me, it's not about what I'm trying to convey. It is about me, it is, this is my life. Out of everyone that's had this book in their hands, they've had so many different interpretations. It reminded me of that, they're all the truth to that person. It's 10 years of my life, from 17 to 28 years old. If you're watching this video, you might be wondering, why would I ever read a book about some person who's not famous, doesn't have some incredible story. Because this is not a memoir of the president, an autobiography of a yogi, a biography of a techno philanthropist billionaire. It's just a guy living his life, trying to find his way in the world. All of the choices, indecision, love, the heartbreak, the pain, being lost, searching, finding, just an everyday human experience. Maybe other people would get something out of this and appreciate it. So a little bit about the book. I did all of it, but I mean all of it. Designed it, format, proof, pictures, fonts, self-published, marketed, everything, DIY. That might turn a lot of you on and it might turn a lot of you off. And I imagine for the people that it turned you off, you might be thinking he probably hasn't put enough time or effort into it or it hasn't been reviewed by other people, so it's not a quality product. I did consult a freelance editor who shall remain nameless. Deborah, thanks for the help. And here we go with the boiler. Sorry about that, it's gonna be a bunch of background noise, but uh, we'll make it through. You hear DIY, punk rock, raw, gritty, rebellious, and that turns you on. Well, people, I assure you, I have sufficiently obsessed over this. Took me about two years to put together. And so what I like about this book is it's it's raw, gritty, unpolished. That's reflected in the cover is just paint on a wall and a bad paint job at that. Flaking off, it's poorly painted. And there's a lot of texture, a lot of decay, a lot of overlap and there's layers. So when I saw this image, I was struck by beauty of decay. Rebellious stage of life. Each of the chapter title pages, this kind of Xerox photocopy feel to it. And they're all set on a black background. Kick the book to the side. You can see where each chapter starts and ends. At the end of each chapter is about a one page synopsis of what was going on in my life at that time, just to give some context to the collection of poetry and letters. Each chapter is about a year long. This book didn't start as a book. I wasn't intending to publish it. It started with this collection of short stories, poetry, and songs. I originally just put this together to read in the field. I was a wilderness therapy field guide, and I, would, I just wanted something to keep on hand that I could read to the students when they went to sleep at night. But in the process, I was combing through all of my journals. Well, it would be nice to have all of them in one place, more refined version, all pulled from here, 11 different journals. This is the first one. This is where it all started, 17 years old. And so I pulled all these pieces from all these different journals and it went from something this big to something this big. Printed manuscripts. I was talking to my friends about it and I was having a bunch of fun with the project. After manuscripts, I started requesting copies of the manuscripts. 
after manuscripts. Maybe I could take this a step further and, and publish it. Probably went through 10 different versions before maybe other people would want to read this. Maybe other people would want to buy this. Finally arriving at the finished copies. Of course, I did it for my accomplishment too. So another question is what prompted me to become an author, a published author? Where did I think that I was capable of doing something like that? Well, that goes back to college, 115 page thesis, self-compassion in LGBTQIA plus individuals. And writing all of that, it gave me the courage to write a book. At what point does practicing vulnerability fortify us such that we become invulnerable? Collateral Intentions is my journey with myself into my darkness and to my light and forming a relationship with both sides and all parts of myself to be able to hold them in balance, to hold them in perspective and accept myself completely. And you can see my evolution as a writer over time, from as young as 17 to 28 years old, coming of age, the complete human experience that I had for 11 years. So that's a bit about the process and the making of the story, the story behind the story, and more stories that fit into the story. Inception, Meta, Matrix. Well, you get the idea. Uh, didn't explain the title at all, Collateral Intentions. The answer is somewhere in this video. I think I kind of allude to it, so yeah. Now, you know, use that thing between your ears. Cool. And please, order the book to your local bookstore, IndieBound.org. You can go online, you can order it, you can go in your bookstore and they can order it for you. Stay away from the big A. Also, if you want to check out my other stuff, you can go on my website, ConstantineDono.com, Instagram, FoolishDao, LinkedIn, Facebook. I'm all over the place. Just Google me.